okay good morning to all students so today we are starting your cost accounting paper first we will discuss about the syllabus and weightage from examination point of view thereafter maybe in this class or next class we will start the topic main topic related to the exam or relating to your syllabus so your syllabus consisting of four major parts first is elements of costing second is methods of costing third is your techniques of costing and last and final is your cost bookkeeping and cost accounting standards okay so first uh, chapter is introduction to cost accounting this is a theoretical topic from this topic in examination we can expect five marks questions maximum five marks or maybe 10 marks also in some cases so next topic is cost sheet or statement of cost cost sheet or statement of cost is exclusive part of your this topic only introduction topic only okay we will not consider this one as a separate topic okay next is elements of costing elements of costing we have three topics direct material direct labor and direct expenses these three topics are very important topics from exam point of view clear last examination recent examination question paper you check approximately 22 marks paper tested from these three topics direct material direct labor direct expenses already video is available on the youtube you can check marks wise weightage also i explained entire suggested answer also i explained so direct material direct labor direct expenses if you club these three topics total marks tested in examination is 22 so exam point of view these three topics are very important so 20 marks we can expect from this three and in these three topics exclusively cost accounting standards also covered in direct material cost accounting standard 6 will be applicable in direct labor cost accounting standard 7 applicable in direct expenses cost accounting standard 10 applicable so sometime direct question will come also from cost accounting standard clear compulsory in cma course student should have cost accounting standards knowledge for fifth topics actually you have 24 cost accounting standards but examiner will not test 24 cost accounting standard knowledge in group 1 you have to remember the names of all cost accounting standards and numbering also in mcq match the following or fill in the blank question two or three questions will come from cost accounting standard name and numbering and 10 marks questions will be tested theoretically either advantages of cost accounting standard or from any one standard question will be tested like last examination question is tested on cost accounting standard 2 so some standards are important for your course like cost accounting standard 1 important 2 important 3 important 6 important 7 important 10 important so these are the important standards so here you should have some good knowledge examiner can test students ability in these topics maximum number of students who are doing the cma course they will not focus on cost accounting standards so if you do not focus on cost accounting standard ultimately total paper will be 130 mark paper out of 130 mark 10 to 12 marks exclusively provided for cost accounting standard so remaining from 120 mark paper only students have to attempt extra one question is given na so in the new syllabus they are giving two questions extra so 15 marks two questions extra means 130 mark paper will be set so out of 130 mark paper you have two extra questions so in the extra questions cost accounting standard also there if you are studying the cost accounting standard it is well and good otherwise you can attempt other questions also so this is your elements of costing next is your direct material completed direct labor completed direct expenses completed now overhead overhead is indirect expenses entire cost is divided into two parts actually one is direct another is indirect so in direct we have direct material direct labor direct expenses remaining all indirect expenses are categorized at one place so this is combinedly called as indirect expenses or overheads 
ओके नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज मेथड्स ऑफ कॉस्टिंग नाउ मेथड्स ऑफ कॉस्टिंग मीन्स एवरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विल नॉट इन द सेम लाइन ऑफ इंडस्ट्री सम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विल बी इन कंस्ट्रक्शन सम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विल बी इन मीन्स सर्विस साइट सम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विल बी प्रोड्यूसिंग गुड्स एंड मेंटेनिंग द कॉस्ट रिकॉर्ड्स अकॉर्डिंग टू यूनिट वाइज सम ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विल प्रोड्यूस द गुड्स इन बैच एंड मेंटेन द रिकॉर्ड्स ऑल्सो इन बैच फॉर्म एंड सम ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विल बी providing the manufacturing services okay for customer specification work so in different different places organizations will have different roles and different system of production also so in those places methods of costing will be tested example suppose a contractor is undertaking the construction work so he will use contract costing okay suppose made pharmaceutical companies pharmaceutical companies will produce the goods in batch clear capsules and tablets they will manufacture in batch form so they will use batch quantity batch order costing or batch costing next is interior designing fabrication work small constructions according to customer specification goods are produced in advance goods are not produced after customer specification goods are produced in those areas job costing will be used sometime we need to maintain the records for a product from starting stage to end of the stage okay so in that case process costing will be used every stage how much cost we are incurring that we have to record so process costing will be used like this this is called as what methods of costing now service transport hotel restaurants hospitals they will use service costing or operating costing so this is called as of dif different methods of costing now next is techniques of costing techniques of costing means this can be used in any area either in manufacturing sector or in service sector techniques of costing will be used for cost control purpose and for minimizing the cost whereas methods of costing will be used for ascertaining the cost whenever organization interested to ascertain cost they will use methods of costing suppose they want to calculate what is the cost per unit then they will use method of costing if they want to minimize some cost they want to reduce some cost they want to control the cost then technique will be used okay because techniques is universally adoptable so any company any organization can use this so in techniques of costing you have to learn marginal costing standard costing budgetary control okay this is techniques of costing and last and final is your cost accounting standards and cost bookkeeping okay from cost bookkeeping in last attempt only one mark question tested only one mark question but it is not necessary ki next attempt also one mark question will be tested so five marks 10 mark question also can be tested from this so this is your syllabus for group 1 cost accounting paper so here all students are new syllabus students only so this is your syllabus okay so you have to note down the syllabus first note this now examination point of view already i mentioned ki elements of costing 20 mark weightage methods of costing 30 mark weightage techniques of costing 40 mark weightage from techniques of costing you can expect 40 mark paper already weightage is given in your study material also you can check
so before we are starting the subject we have to discuss about how to study and in what way we have to crack the examination also what is which be the requirements first requirement is you have to attend the classes regularly you can note and you can listen no problem second requirement is you should act like a professional because this is a professional course so if your body language is you are feeling like a professional automatically interest will come then easily you can study the subject and regularly how many questions we discuss in the class you should practice on the same day and the most important thing is always focus on concept don't try to buttify the format formula that will not work out here so always the most important thing is concept oriented learning and in cma foundation you have mcq pattern now there is no mcq pattern here only 25 marks mcq 75 marks descriptive questions okay so you should practice both this is cost accounting standard 10 overheads is cost accounting standard 3 so elements of costing noted now methods of costing methods of costing you have unit or output costing so unit or output costing and cost sheet is same topic so separately we will not discuss this so by default the questions will be same similar so in cost sheet unit or output costing you have same questions reconciliation of cost and financial books is not a separate topic as per your syllabus it is part of your cost bookkeeping but here we are writing separately a reconciliation is required only when organization maintaining separate books of accounts for costing financial if they are using or following integrated system means reconciliation not required i'll explain in detail don't worry
now examination point of view which topics are 100% compulsory so marginal costing is compulsory chapter tendered costing is compulsory chapter budgetary control is compulsory chapter cost accounting standard is compulsory chapter these are compulsory chapters and apart from this reconciliation also frequently questions are coming from this operating costing also important topic now from these two topics any one will come from this two any one question will come both will not come any one will come okay and from this three topics any two topics will be tested from this three any two will be tested in the exam okay from this three two will be tested and from this two any one will be tested so that can be any combination either process or joint product or sometime by product joint product given process costing question will not be given okay suppose in mcq process costing questions tested means in descriptive they will test joint product by product or vice versa okay and from this four topics overhead is compulsory topic every item this will come direct material also compulsory every item this will come now from this two any one is tested any one is tested clear an introduction is also compulsory chapter for 5 marks so in this chapters you should have perfection so at least a student should know marginal costing standard costing budgetary control reconciliation operating costing process costing okay cost sheet direct material overheads introduction easily you can attempt 100 mark paper remaining is for scoring purpose remaining is for scoring purpose okay if you see past all exam papers this is the exact trend which is followed by the institute okay now one point a student have to understand properly here suppose any team which is participating in a tournament in tournament generally they have qualifier round thereafter quarter final semi final final so you completed the qualifying round only after this you have to complete intermediate and final so now you are in intermediate level so gradually complexity will increase don't assume like foundation level so according to your course you have to switch your gears if you are in the same comfort zone like foundation you have na here you will not qualify you have to change your gear okay so this is very much important if you feeling same ki like foundation type paper will come i can easily pass means no it is not possible because step by step gradually complexity will slightly increase the institute will assume some extra ability from the student also so according to institute we should prepare ourselves institute will not change according to student we have to change according to institute so this is important point most of the students will do what 
starting starting they will be relaxed and in last they will become very serious that will not work out in starting you should be very serious and complete everything on time then in last you will be in relax mode because everything is completed syllabus will be in your control so this students have to follow regularly we will not discuss this that's why i'm discussing all these points in starting class only so that how to study the subject how to pass the subject see i am a rank holder in examination i completed all groups in first attempt both groups with rank all india level rank so you can also pass if you write both groups also or suppose if you are writing one group also you get 60 60 high marks it is good or 70% marks it is good but it is not very easy also it is not very difficult also so balanced systematic way work should be completed so always think and set high standard and try to achieve that if you are thinking ki i will score 50 only this is sufficient for me then you will score 40 45 marks suppose you are aiming for 80 marks you will get 60 65 if you are aiming for 90 mark then 70 75 will come so aim standard is very important so set the standard first what you want then accordingly you should work relaxed way starting starting you are relax in last one month one and half month before you want to become very serious means 90% students will do the same strategy and they will fail in professional examination so that will not very much important starting starting stage you are very serious in last you are maintaining same also very good or in last you will be relax also some relaxation is also there means you can work out in examination in very controlled way the subject will be in your grip relax way means last time 20, 12 hours 18 hours study is not required even if you study 8 hours also 6 hours also sufficient but studying studying you have to study 8 hours 1 hour 2 hours kuch nahi hota yahan pe ab you study 1 hour 2 hour na nothing will happen daily you have to study at least 4 to 6 hours daily apart from this classes 4 hours if you study compulsory pass in first attempt that is guaranteed so this rules students have to follow because you are a student you don't know how to write the exam how to pass the exam you have only foundation level knowledge suppose anybody ask you regarding foundation you can give guidance properly because already you qualified you have the experience of foundation so you can advise to your juniors but intermediate you are new so here you should follow this strategy apart from this classes every day you have to study 4 hours each every subject 1 and 1/2 hour or 1 hour daily you should spend daily and on sundays or holiday time extra study is required so this practice you have to continue for 3 months till examination then compulsory you will pass because regularly i will not share all these points what will happen is after starting the batch from my side everything will be completed on time but student side there is a lagging lagging from student side so faculties will not have the time daily to motivate oh, clear because everybody will have their own objectives if daily motivation is given also that will not good also one time shri krishna has not given motivation to arjuna daily he has given one time only and he left all things on arjun side so here also same thing so don't compare this like foundation level please change and study regularly okay step by step students will increase here gradually that is common this is first class so step by step students will increase so that's why this recorded class will be given to them they will also understand ki how to study okay so this is chapters which you have to compulsory learn so why i am sharing all this point mean whenever marginal costing started if any student absent in this chapter means you have to pay very high penalty 
रीजन इज दिस टॉपिक इज देर इन ग्रुप वन ग्रुप टू फाइनल ऑल के कोर्स एंटायर कोर्स बिगिनिंग टू एंड सो इफ यू मिस इन इंटरमीडिएट लेवल यूल नॉट अंडरस्टैंड इन सेकेंड ग्रुप ऑल्सो यूल नॉट अंडरस्टैंड इन फाइनल ऑल्सो मीन्स इवन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड मीन्स यू हैव टू स्पेर एक्स्ट्रा टाइम देर ओनली इट इज पॉसिबल सिमिलरली स्टैंडर्ड कॉस्टिंग बजेटरी कंट्रोल ऑल्सो इट इज देर इन ग्रुप वन ऑल्सो ग्रुप टू ऑल्सो अगेन इन फाइनल इन फाइनल बजेटरी कंट्रोल इज नॉट सपरेट टॉपिक इट इज पार्ट ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड ओके सो दिस थ्री टॉपिक्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो वेन एवर वी स्टार्ट डोंट एबसेंट डोंट मिस द क्लासेस एंड नेक्स्ट इज रिकनसिलियेशन रिकनसिलियेशन इज कोर एरिया ऑफ कॉस्ट एंड मैनेजमेंट अकाउंटेंट बिकॉज ऑर्गनाइजेशन मेंटेनिंग कॉस्टिंग बिकॉज बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट सेपरेटली फाइनेंशियल बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट सेपरेटली मीन्स इन कॉस्ट ऑडिट रिपोर्ट वी हैव टू शो रिकनसिलेशन so this is a part of cost audit report so compulsory you have to know gain the knowledge on this otherwise in article ship you will face the difficulties okay because you don't know where it will be useful na simply your mindset is student mindset ha ah, emaitu dokro ja absent aithe you will take the risk but ultimately you have to pay penalty for this okay and next is direct material chapter when we start and overhead chapter when we start don't miss that and introduction anyhow that is not very difficult and in methods of costing should attend the classes for operating costing or service costing and process costing remaining are easy understandable don't miss in this so 10 chapters compulsory you have to attend without missing even if you miss recorded class is available in the app you can watch before coming to the next class you should understand that then there is no lag okay or within a week you should complete that so this is your guidance in what we have to study the subject okay next point is when we start the syllabus all students have to use a ruled book plain book not applicable in examination rule paper will come plain paper will not given by the examiner so don't use the plain book and pencil scale pen compulsory required because you have to prepare the formats also clear ha format you have to prepare fastly because in exam conditions sometime we don't have to prepare format neatly by taking so much of time so here only if you are expert in preparing all this fastly same habit is continued in exam conditions also and it is mandatory also in exam you have to drop neat format automatically one to extra marks will be given for that because your presentation will attract the examiner okay and last and final is once one topic is completed you should complete all homework questions and you should prepare your summary notes from your side nowadays what students will do students will totally depend on faculty if faculty will give the summary notes faculty already know the subject okay so if he is giving summary notes there is no benefit to faculty first of all and if a student is not studying that there is no benefit to student also so to prepare the summary should learn entire chapter then only you are you are in a position to prepare the summary notes without understanding entire chapter you can prepare the summary notes huh? so summary notes you can prepare only when you are completing entire topic perfectly so by default when you prepare the summary notes you will understand ki how much you gain the knowledge at that point of time only there is no need to go to exam hall this is the things you students have to follow clear okay na right shall we start the introduction to cost accounting okay now i am expecting ki nobody will have the cost accounting knowledge this is my assumption bhai you know something that is well and good <laughs> my assumption is nobody will have a b c d of cost accounting okay 
right sir see entire syllabus is divided into three categories first category is if any organization which incurs the cost how they will record that in their books first topics we are studying on that so every organization which is recording the cost cost is ultimately recorded in two parts one is direct another is indirect okay so direct is called as prime cost or direct cost and next is indirect cost indirect cost means overheads we'll discuss that what is direct indirect separately next is first these topics are related to in what way organization will record next how organization will calculate the cost per unit total cost profit for this methods of costing is introduced in this syllabus so from methods of costing you will understand ki one organization will calculate the cost in which manner what concept they will use what format they will use what technique they will use to ascertain the cost so that is methods of costing because different organization different methodologies method will not same next is cost is recorded cost is calculated now ultimately what is the role of cost accountant control cost accountant has recorded the cost cost accountant has given the technique how to calculate per unit cost how to calculate total cost but after that cost accountant management accountant role is not completed still he has to advise the company how to control the cost so for that techniques of costing have been developed so techniques of costing will be used for controlling purpose so management accountant will suggest in what way company can control the cost if you do not control you cannot achieve your target very simple example i will give you suppose your favorite favorite actor or actress movie released now you are in professional course so generally students will do what definitely on first day they want to show means uh, watch the movie first day first show this is the excitement but in professional course all these things you have to control because first preference should be given to your studies and your career there after any surplus time available in that surplus time entertainment activities so control is required control means control your emotions control your feelings here control your unnecessary activities here so in organization also controlling required cost will be in control when they said some thing about that otherwise cost is not in control way so by using marginal costing standard costing budgetary control they can control the cost to some extent okay so cost control is not permanent treatment it is temporary like you are using one vehicle so on every signal you are switching off the engine so from that you can save some fuel but starting starting you will maintain this after that you became exhausted from this in the by the regular engine of jdmo so you you will not off the engine then cost control is not possible so here also suppose suppose in one month electricity bill is very high so next month you will be serious whenever unnecessary lights are they will switch off unnecessary fans are switch off but this will you, you repeat for one month two month thereafter again common so cost control also same so cost control is possible but 100% solution is not there for that in some areas it is possible in some areas it is not possible so cost reduction is permanent technique we will discuss this also what is cost control what is cost reduction why i am explaining means students will understand complete entire paper they don't know ki why institute has set this paper setting 
elements of costing methods of costing techniques of why institute has given this because you are a cost and management accountant first you have to record the cost then you have to calculate per unit cost and selling price total cost and give that to management and then cost control cost reduction is also expected from you management accountant side then by using some other things relating to costing you have to give the guidance then cost audit report all this will be also there in the cost and management accountant area so your area is not limited very vast areas are there the students will not having the awareness clear so once you became the cost and management accountant you have so many areas so in that you can work and one of the very big advantage for cost and management accounting profession is here you will not have small clients always you are dealing with big clients only because manufacturer is not a small person manufacturer is always a big client service provider is also always a big client so always management accountant will deal with big clients only whereas other professionals will have 1000 rupees client also 1500 client also in your profession that is not there if you are dealing with one client mean minimum 50 1 lakh rupee fees minimum 25000 fees that is the advantage but volume is less volume is less because normally every person will not be a manufacturer na every person will not be a service provider also so one side plus one side minus is there other area also one side plus one side minus is there so on an average what is plus for you for others that is minus what is minus for you others plus this is the professional okay chaliye now we will start the introduction to cost accounting so the very first question is cost accounting we are learning so what is cost what is meant by cost okay so the answer is yes you learned this chapter is there in foundation also introduction okay so any student having idea if you have idea then express otherwise i will explain don't worry see always remember in cost accounting subject management accounting subject we have to understand the terminology from sima uk chartered institute of management accountants because their terminology will be considered as professional terminology other ex other experts also given the terminologies but sima terminology is mostly preferable so maximum i will use sima terminology only to explain the concepts so don't butify that there is no necessity to butify only you should understand and you are you should use your own words in exam they will give the marks okay don't need to butify same as it is sentence okay so cost means generally from normally if you think customer point of view what price you will pay that is a cost suppose you are purchasing one mobile phone so purchase of mobile phone is cost for you or not for purchasing one ac hmm so customer point of view you are paying the price you are paying the price so from your point of view customer point of view it is cost but company point of view it is a cost or no company point of view it is selling price because they are selling in that profit is also included so always in this subject cost is calculated from company point of view manufacturer point of view not from customer point of view so perspective is important if from whose perspective we are discussing the meaning of cost so we are discussing the meaning of cost from manufacturer point of view company point of view or service provider point of view not from customer point of view okay so according to manufacturer or service provider or 
company cost means any expenditure which has been incurred that expenditure may be actual expenditure also sometime it may be notional also mostly it is actual expenditure sometime it may be notional also for producing a product or rendering a service is called as cost it means whenever company incurs any expense that expense can be actual or notional for producing a product or rendering a service is called as cost example one company is manufacturing one product so what is the cost for producing that product they have to incur how many types of costs so that is termed as what cost similarly one service provider is giving the service like you are going to hospital hospital is providing service or not so hospital will charge or not so what is the cost to the service provider so cost is understand from manufacturer point of view or service provider point of view not from customer point of view understand so mostly here actual expenditure will come but in some places notional is also taken into consideration when notional will come i will explain don't worry right now you are new to the subject so if i share anything which is not understandable to you you will confuse so step by step gradually you will understand notional means which is not actually incurred very simple words notional means which is actually not incurred so whenever notional point will come actually expenditure has not been incurred okay so examples everything will discuss at later stage so this is a sema official terminology explanation cost means amount of expenditure actual or notional incurred or attributable to specific thing or activity means for producing a product or rendering a service is meaning of cost understand hmm. cost meaning is clear okay because you are studying cost accounting paper if you don't know cost meaning means it is very guilty and matter for us true or false now next expenses loss and asset this is also very important for you to understand expenses loss and asset expenses means whatever cost we incurred from that if you derive the benefit and that benefit is consumed within short period of time or short span of time then that will be recognized as expense suppose you have incurred the cost but you have haven't received any benefit but cost has been incurred but you haven't received any benefit or sometime whatever cost you incurred you haven't received the benefits for 100% you received the benefit for cert, some to some extent only so for remaining you have not received any benefit so that is called as a loss that is called as what loss suppose you purchase one ice cream now your examination is going to start at 9 am morning so now time is 8:50 so one ice cream seller is moving from that street so you decided to purchase during the summer now you have taken and you started suddenly 9 completed your half ice cream is pending so will throw it because exam is important na so you spent the money for 100% ice cream but you consume 50% only so 50% is loss or not so that is called as loss very simple next is asset asset means what you incur the cost and you are going to receive the benefits but that benefit is not going to receive or for one time over a period of time you are going to receive the benefit so in that case that will be called as asset for example you purchase ac if you purchase the ac from ac you are getting the benefits over a period of 10 years 8 years or sometime 15 years also till you are not removing the ac 
But if you pay salary, worker will work for 10 years. Huh? If you pay one month, salary will pay one month only. Rent, if you pay rent for one month, they will provide the service for one month. If you pay telephone expenses, broadband expenses for one month, they will provide the service for one month. That's why it is called an expense. But when you incur the cost and benefit is coming over a period of time exceeding 12 months, in next accounting period also benefit is there. So that is called as what asset. This is the difference. So in cost accounting, first you should familiar with this. Clear? So here explanation is given. Expense is that portion of cost which has been consumed during the current accounting period and which contributes to revenue. Means you have received the benefit. I use the word benefit. So benefit means what? Revenue generated. Benefit means what? Revenue generated. It is also called as expired cost because whatever amount you paid for that service has been consumed. So again in future, no service will come. Like you paid the salary to employee. He worked for one month. He contributed towards revenue. But benefit is coming for one month only, na? One month revenue only, one month service only. Again in next month, benefit will come, no. So this is called as what? Expired. Asset is unexpired. Asset is what? Unexpired. Major difference in expenses and asset is what? If cost is expired, benefit received, it is expense. If cost is unexpired, benefit is received and going to be received in future, that is asset. Okay. Complete, suppose you paid the fees to Ships Academy in group 1 right now. So, you came, you joined the classes, you came uh, regularly for one month. After that, you discontinued. Okay. Because of your own problems uh, or because of any other reason. Again, for next batch, if you come, Rasa sir will charge fees or not? Or will provide free of cost? Uh? Because whatever you paid, that is expired. <laughs> whatever you paid, that is expired. So, expired means what? One time benefit. That's why it is called as what? Expense. Because you uh, continue the classes for one month, that's why I'm using the word expense. If you paid the fees, you haven't uh, attended any class means that is loss. That is what? Loss. No benefit received. So that is loss. If no benefit received means loss. If some benefit received for a limited period of time, that is expense. If benefit is going to come in future also, that will be asset. So loss, uh, depreciation on tangible asset is example of asset. Uh, sorry, expenses, salary, rent, okay, Wi-Fi connectivity charges, broadband charges, all these are expenses. Loss is that portion of cost which has consumed during the current accounting period, which did not contribute to revenue. Means you haven't recovered that. Did not contribute to revenue means you haven't received any benefit. You haven't received any benefit. Haven't received any benefit means that is not contributed towards revenue. Like loss of uninsured asset due to fire. Suppose you purchase the asset, but the ha you have not taken any insurance. Asset is destroyed by fire. So, insurance claim is possible or no? You purchase the asset, asset life is 5 years. One year used. Thereafter, fire incident taken place. Asset destroyed by fire. Insurance policy also not taken. So, asset will have still 4 year life now. But due to fire it is destroyed and no amount is recoverable. So, entirely lost or not? That's it. Next, asset is that portion of cost which has not been consumed during the accounting period. So, it is unexpired cost. Like 5 lakh rupees asset we purchase, 1 lakh depreciation for one accounting period completed. But still 4 lakh rupees value WDV available now. So, that will be benefiting for next 4 years. That will be benefiting for next 4 years. So this is what your asset. Here meaning of asset is different. Accounting paper meaning of asset is different. Once you learn account asset meaning here, you write same definition in accounting paper, they will not give marks. Accounting framework is different. Costing framework is different. Okay. Chaliye. So, I hope this is understand all. Clear? Theory important. Examination 5 marks, 10 mark questions will come from this. 
compulsory in every attempt minimum 5 maximum 10 if you are not serious in this you will lose 5 to 10 marks benefit will not be received from your side means loss okay clear now after explaining if you follow properly if you listen properly then it is expenses for you if you do not follow if you do not concentrate then it is loss for you in simple words so now meaning of cost accounting okay meaning of cost accounting see if you are not interested to, to express this question in very refined way you want to use very simplified version of explanation simply you should answer cost accounting means accounting for cost cost accounting means accounting for cost it means whatever cost organization incurs you are accounting for that cost and management is accounting that that's why it is called as cost accounting so this will start from one point and end with one point so cost accounting procedure will start from incurrence of cost cost accounting starts from what incurrence of cost if you do not incur cost there is no need to record so first uh, point of inception is what point of inception is it is it will start from incurrence of cost okay now it will end with what periodical reports and statements and reporting to concerned people okay and reporting to concerned people for what purpose cost control cost reduction purpose cost control cost reduction purpose so if you see cost accounting is the process of accounting for cost which begins which begins with incurrence of cost and ends with cost control ends with what cost control so beginning point is what incurrence ending point is what cost control you can write cost reduction also no problem okay clear now it means in cost accounting we have to follow a formal system formal system means what routine casual means unroutine formal system means what routine system means routine system means what recording classifying okay giving different different types of uh, titles to the cost according to the requirement and periodic reports all this is what routine matters so here it will come see formal system of accounting by means of which cost of product services or activities are ascertained and control so ultimately why you are incurring the cost to produce the product or to render the service so once you are incurring the cost its recording required or not compulsory required and its control also required or not compulsory required so ascertainment purpose control purpose this cost accounting is used for ascertaining the cost and controlling the cost your cost accounting is used so in simple words sema definition if you learn cost accounting is classified as defined as collecting classifying recording allocating and analysis of cost so first is what collecting wherever cost is incurred from all those departments cost is collected then it is classified directa indirecta which type of cost this is that will be classified like an accounting paper you classify real account or personal account or nominal account na so here direct cost or indirect cost or in that way cost is classified then it will be recorded in books then allocation then analysis so allocation analysis means what allocation means it is exactly attributable to product or it is not attributable to product analysis means what complete from ending to beginning to ending 
what happened that we are analyzing so according to sima definition this is the meaning so according to sima definition if you want to understand the cost accounting meaning in simplified way this is the explanation see preparation of periodical statements and reports for ascertaining and controlling cost application of cost control ascertainment of profitability of various activities which has been carried out or planned so ultimately this is the meaning as per the sima definition okay so in examination students have to prefer this students have to prefer this definition what to what not important but in your own words you should write so first a process in cost accounting is collecting first cost is collected from where cost is collected in every organization especially in case of big organization they will develop one system of accounting that system of accounting is called as responsibility accounting so in responsibility accounting they will meet some centers cost center revenue center profit center investment center cost center objective is to accumulate the cost wherever cost is incurred na cost center has to gather the cost and it has to accumulate so whenever management accountant wants they should give this data to management accountant revenue center revenue center job is what they have to accumulate the revenue okay or generally in some cases cost center means only they are involved in cost they are not involved in revenue suppose one production department is there in production department always goods will be manufactured so only cost is incurred any revenue will come no revenue will come from selling and distribution distribution department because they will sell na Mark, marketing distribution department so from production department only cost is there so what data is available in production department cost data so that is called as cost center that is called as what cost center okay so in previous examination he asked one question ticket counter of a cinema hall is dash ticket counter of a cinema hall is dash so revenue center because where revenue will come <laughs> ticket center so in this way examiner will test the questions so questions will be simple but you should have some knowledge so cost center knowledge revenue center knowledge so revenue center means like paradise hotel cooking section is also there sale dispatch section is also there cooking section is a production department cost center sale dispatch revenue center understand so revenue center is different cost center is different okay now investment center means what investments will be made plant machinery equipment so investments will take place okay so whenever organization want to redesign the business they want to remove old assets they want to install new assets so in that case they have to invest the amount so investment center okay stores department is also required some new technological machines so they are making some investments so investment center means what only investment is taking place r and d in r and d always investments will take place without incurring the expenditure r and d possible ah huh? chandrayaan chandrayaan is what r and d previously scientist failed so 400 500 crores lost but again they stopped ah huh? no again they put the efforts now compared to previous this time they launch for lower cost but r and d continuously incurred or not so if r and d stop means growth stop so investment investment center is r and d is what investment if apple research center stop the research there is no innovation no new product will come same in case of microsoft also so research and development is a pure example of investment center understand profit center means they will be involved in generation of profits 
okay so in this way responsibility accounting system has been developed so each and every center is responsible for its own activities or according to their activities center names will be provided understand so collecting so cost collection is possible from cost center only you go to the revenue center he will not have any cost information if you want to take cost information directly you should ask cost centers or you should take the data from cost center so first process in cost accounting is what collection accounting mein first process kar raha hai recording recording yahan pe recording na rehta hai yahan pe first collection because in account already transactions are recorded from transactions then we'll go for what remaining next step so here first is what class uh, means collection next is what classification once cost is collected classification required directa indirecta which type of cost then it is recorded first you recorded then you are thinking it is direct indirect means will change that is wrong no after recording if you are analyzing ki this is direct indirect means you have to change or not so before recording only you should decide na ki it is a direct indirect it is variable or fixed or semi variable or after writing will decide before writing only na but in accounting first recorded then they will decide what is nominal what is real what is personal here it will not take place here first classified then recorded so there is a difference here are you understanding na there after allocation allocation means for which product how much cost incurred because from product only we have to generate the revenue no suppose one company is manufacturing 10 products so for every product how much cost incurred that we have to charge to product or not so that is called allocation then analysis properly done or not anything is missed or not where unnecessary cost is incurring so all this they have to analyze analysis is only a reporting no calculations uh, means take place in that reporting area so this is as per sema okay so theory subject we have to learn in this way theory subject ante batti kotadam gada di you have to understand each and every word here you have to understand each and every word and technical jargons of the subject okay next cost accounting departments uh, always involved in preparation of quotations why most of the students does not know what actual system take place in cost accounting suppose maruti india maruti india manufacturing suppose daily 500 cars how many cars 500 cars so most of the students think ki after manufacturing 500 cars maruti india will prepare the cost sheet for 500 car you will expect in this way only no for every car manufactured now one separate cost statement is prepared and then all 500 merged this is cost accounting system after producing 500 see in one day you are producing 500 cars but once one car is completed or 10 cars completed immediately its statement is prepared clear actually this is the system followed in regular practice but students feel students think what no after producing all 500 they will start no 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 unit wise they will prepare unit wise they will prepare why this is necessary suppose one customer is asking the quotation i want 100 cars quotation price 50 cars quotation price if quotation is not ready with you again you have to work on that or not that's why cost accounting is also involved in preparation of quotation tender so that is called as what periodical statements quotation tenders or periodical statements so here preparation of periodical statement and reports for ascertaining and controlling the cost okay 
so cost accounting is not like financial accounting in financial accounting every quarter end every year end trial balance is prepared financial statements are prepared here regularly required at least weekly required if you prepare the costing records quarter wise year wise means company will shut down because material prices labor prices expenses will change regularly so we have to change the product cost also normally tomato price increasing decreasing product price will increase decrease huh? it is also common na no? normally a farmer producing tomato so if you see from past 3 4 months price increasing decreasing mostly increasing side so products also prices increases decreases common it is so in cost accounting weekly monthly sometime daily reports also required it is a day to day subject financial accounting is what quarter end year end subject that is also due to income tax problem if income tax department is not strict people will relax in that area also <laughs> because people have to submit their income tax returns so due to that they will complete the accounting and they will submit the data to tax department but this is regularly required this is what regularly required on amazon also if you see the prices of the product one month before product price this month product price will same it will change change why demand supply prices increase decrease so many factors will change that that's why this is a periodical subject this is not a time driven subject so sometime daily required sometime weekly required sometime monthly required yearly to required hai hai so yearly is very late in this but daily quarterly uh, means uh, weekly monthly is commonly used in cost accounting commonly used in cost accounting clear next is what cost control method Do, without cost data cost control is not possible so this will help in uh, helps in cost control also when you think about cost control when an organization will think about cost control when they feel ki some extra cost is going to be is unnecessarily incurring if they feel ki if cost is already very good there is no unnecessary cost why they will think about cost control hmm? it is required huh? no when they feel ki it is unnecessarily incurring unnecessarily increasing or increasing but management is not satisfied internally so they will feel ki no something is going wrong then they will go for control clear like already i given the example of electricity bill in one room nobody is there unnecessary fan tube led on so bill extra will come or not so you can control that or not obviously you can control so cost accounting department will also check that so in what way they will check material wastages what material they are using na that material is 100% properly used ah or any defectives are taking place ah if defect taking place extra consumption required if defect taking place extra consumption required or not so because of extra consumption cost is increasing or not so control required or not similarly labor if there is no proper supervision labor will not work efficiently so because of inefficiency time required for production will increase labor charges will also increase so cost will also increase or not so here also control required clear but control is not permanent solution it is a temporary solution it is a temporary reduction is permanent solution cost reduction is what permanent solution now you are using one led tube light previously you are using yellow bulb old so your electricity bill is very high even you are switching off when nobody is using also 
hi bill coming now you worried about that so you simply take an advice so the shopkeeper advice ki change that yellow bulb go to the led then automatically every month bill will reduce or not so permanently you got the solution or not it is called as cost reduction so cost reduction means permanent permanent solution suppose previously you are using two star washing machine two star ac because of that without inverter ac high bill is coming now you are worried about electricity bill now shopkeeper advice ki you should take five star ac five star washing machine then automatically energy decreasing so bill is also control refrigerator also because refrigerator is throughout the day it will use na so if you are having two star refrigerator electricity bill will be more so go for five star units will less so permanently your bill is reducing or not so this is cost reduction so in companies cost reduction is different cost control is different for cost reduction you have to study second group final scm paper so separate techniques are there value engineering value chain analysis lean system lean innovation all these topics you have to study intermediate level mein cost reduction nice one mein aayega aapko but still i have given some examples but from costing side if you want to understand final level only it is possible okay and last and final is what profitability is also important what is important profitability which product is profitable which product is not profitable which activity is profitable which activity is not profitable unnecessary activities you have to avoid na that's why activity wise also important product wise also important clear now next is so you understand cost accounting meaning so now we'll discuss about costing meaning of costing cost accounting is different costing is different costing is a technique used for ascertaining the cost so whenever organization uses the a specific technique so the technique which is used for ascertaining the cost that technique is called as costing for example one contractor is there that contractor want to calculate the total cost of contract so in cost accounting they provided one methodology the contract account should be prepared this item will be on debit side this item will be on credit side so if you follow this technique you can calculate the contract cost so that is called as what technique technique means one procedure technique means what one procedure so if you follow that procedure you can calculate the cost so any procedure or technique if you follow from that you can calculate the cost of product or cost of service these techniques can be different different for different different organizations for service organization it will be different for manufacturing it will be different okay so here uh, seema london definition they use the word process also process means procedure process procedure or process okay so seema defines costing as the technique and process of ascertaining the cost okay so this is meaning of cost clear for example you are interested to calculate the cost of product like you are interested to calculate the cost of computer car production manufacturing suppose one hotel hospital transport organization this is service sector this is what service sector so in production side the procedure and technique is different in service side the procedure and technique is different similarly sometime cost is ascertained for activity also cost is ascertained for activity also like production administration selling and distribution research and development like this sometime cost is ascertained for activity also like material order cost material handling cost 
actually in activity based costing one separate chapter will come that you will study in second group in that cost is ascertained for for activities cost is ascertained activity wise also because in that chapter according to activity costing is important clear so sometime costing is required for manufacturing sometime costing is required for service sometime it can be required for activity also understood so whenever any technique or process is used it is called as costing technique or process means suppose i ask one question to you accounting question how to calculate gross profit so your answer is what prepare a trading account prepare here also if i ask one question how to calculate the cost of product so you will say cost sheet should be prepared statement of cost should be prepared from that you will get cost okay so technique and process is nothing but one specified format one specified format you should follow that then you will get cost of the product so that is called as what costing i hope till this everything is clear yes till this any student having doubt online students okay next is cost accountancy so in uh, accounting paper you learned bookkeeping accounting accountancy so what is the difference see in my classes always i will do the postmortem of every subject postmortem means internally whatever is there all parts we have to check so theory also practical also because this is your main paper yes what you understand at your earlier classes bookkeeping accounting accountancy separate separate you learn na so here also i explained costing cost uh, cost accounting so far now one more concept you have to understand definition we have to understand cost accountancy so in accounting paper you learn accounting accountancy all this na so what is the difference you don't know accountancy accountancy is nothing but a combination of bookkeeping plus accounting in accountancy by default bookkeeping is also there accounting is also there means accounting subject is based on certain rules certain guidelines certain principles so accountancy will explain the rules postulates principles on which accounting is based so accountancy is a broader term accountancy is a broader term it means why this rule is applicable on what basis we are following this rule on what basis we are following this procedure all this will be covered in accountancy not in accounting that is the meaning of accountancy so accountancy by default incorporates bookkeeping also accounting also clear so accounting is purely based on principles rules methods techniques which is given in the accountancy 
so on what basis you are following the rule for what purpose you are following this rule why you are following this procedure why you are following this principle why you are following this rule why you are following this assumption all this is covered in accountancy understand so the coverage of accounting is limited to some extent but beyond that if you want to know you have to study accountancy so here also same so costing cost accounting both are integral part of cost accountancy along with this some extra stuff is also covered some extra stuff is also covered like principal methods techniques okay science art clear so that is called as what accountancy so in simple word cost accountancy is nothing but science art and practice science art and practice of cost management professionals of cost management professionals science art and practice uh, science means what art means what first i am explaining simplified version cost accountancy is science art and practice of a cost and management accountant so first you should understand and you should know what is science what is art and what is practice science means uh, what hmm it is applicable universally means uh, science is already a developed methodology science is already a developed methodology others following you are also following okay art means you have developed this from your internal ability or from your extraordinary skills so art will not gift it to person or available in the market art will come from your own skills clear that's why it is called as what art so art will come from experience also sometime art will come from certain professional knowledge so art is not available in the books art is not available in any market area so you have to develop that so from your experience from your subject knowledge like in cricket match who is the number one best batsman in the world hmm best batsman in the world is not virat kohli best batsman is ab de villiers technical point of view he is a 360 degree player from number point of view virat kohli is sachin tendulkar but skills point of view because who developed new new types of shots ab de villiers only before that anybody has invented that now surya kumar is inventing that so that is what art nobody has taught them he play this type of shots they developed from their own skills so that is called as what art understand art means previously nobody has seen that nobody has tried that nobody has the idea about that now first time it is coming to existence that is called as art clear so cost accountancy is the science also art also and practice also because what others are following we have to follow that because we have to maintain books of records according to companies act if you don't prepare the books of accounts according to companies act they will reject that so others will also follow you will also follow so that is same that is what science now one problem is there in the company they want to reduce the cost of the product now you got the solution for that by your art from your specialized knowledge clear next practice is not practice is nothing but when you are in the practice you have to upgrade yourself you have to always upgrade yourself 
then only your practice will develop then only you will develop so practice is nothing but regular upgradation practice is nothing but what regular upgradation clear so accountancy covered all these points accountancy is not a limited accounting is limited why it is limited because according to rules regulation principles only you have to prepare books of accounts thereafter accounting will not say anything but accountancy is saying what beyond that so beyond accounting is accountancy beyond accounting is what accountancy in simple words if you want to give the answer ivanni telusundale meeku only foundation pass ait ayipothada idantha knowledge undale meeku prasthanga nerchukondi ippudu mari ga ee class lane nerchukondi motta correct ga okay now according to seema london point of view also we have to understand this Sima defines cost accountancy as application of costing. And in this costing, in this costing is also there. Cost accounting principle, methods, techniques to the science, art, and practice of cost control and ascertainment of profitability. It also includes presentation of information derived therefrom for the purpose of managerial decision making. It means. according to sima what they are saying ki cost accountancy is a application of costing in in this costing is also there cost accounting is also there principles of cost accounting there methods of cost accounting there science relating to cost accounting there art is also there practice is also there for the purpose of cost ascertainment and for the purpose of cost control also and apart from this this is useful for providing the relevant information to management people for decision making because ultimately who has to take the decision decision has to be taken by the managerial level people so on what basis they will decide some input should be provided to them so this cost accountancy will provide the useful information to managerial level people for decision making okay so in simple words if you want to write this is the answer you want sima definition this is the answer suppose in interview if anybody has what is accountancy so your answer should be beyond accounting beyond accounting on what basis rules regulations accounting is based that base is covered in accounting accountancy clear so accountancy will give the answer for why and what accountancy will give the answer for why and what accounting will not give accountancy will provide okay so it is a science already all these points are explained as a formality i am reading this so consist of systematic knowledge which cost accountant must possess for proper discharge of duties so here you can write the example ki books of accounts are maintained according to companies act so cost accountant next will also maintain in the same direction y will also maintain in the same direction z will also maintain in the same direction if they change records are not acceptable na because whatever format they mentioned whatever structure they mentioned all have to maintain according to that format only na so that is called as what science science means under follow jayadam clear science means what all others follow we are also following the same clear art art means you are a unique type person so you develop certain things from your side involves the application of knowledge and skill by the cost accountant in applying the principal methods and techniques of cost accounting so already here i have given the example ki some cricket players are innovating new types of techniques so here also cost accountant is developing some techniques from those techniques he may control the cost he may reduce the cost okay next uh, practice means what regular upgradation upgradation regular upgradation so consistent uh, constant efforts on the part of cost accountant in the field of cost accountancy and latest development in the profession so upgradation 
this is what upgradation so finally in short if you want to write the answer in examination means cost accountancy means costing plus cost accounting plus cost control cost reduction and reporting for managerial decision making reporting for managerial decision making so usko cost audit bhi bol sakte hain apan so costing cost accounting cost control cost reduction cost audit you can add reporting also audit is nothing but what reporting clear till okay, till this everything is clear now what is what are the objectives of cost accounting so before asking this i will ask what are the objectives of financial accounting very good correct answer means financial accounting objective is preparation and presentation of financial statements only one objective main objective preparation and presentation of financial statement that is the main or fundamental objective of for financial accounting so here what is the objective of cost accounting ascertaining cost okay first we have to ascertain the cost clear thereafter cost control clear cost reduction also clear sometime we use cost classification also fixing selling price also clear so these are the different types of objectives related to your cost accounting so first uh, important objective is what cost ascertainment second is what cost classification that is what fixing the selling price of the product fourth is cost control then cost reduction also you can write okay so ascertaining the cost of product or service determining the selling price cost control provide information for managerial decision making then ascertaining the overall profitability product wise activity wise this is your objective see advantages of cost accounting objectives of cost accounting similar rehte hain almost all similar some extra points will also come in advantages but these points by default will come in advantages answer also okay so what are the objectives of cost accounting this one cost ascertainment okay then cost control selling price information for managerial decision making profitability analysis now advantages advantages of cost accounting see some of the points already what we covered that will come here actually in objectives you can write cost reduction also no problem because here also cost reduction will come so helps in ascertaining cost fixing selling price cost control managerial decision making cost reduction these points already we covered okay now new points are what tender quotations suppose one customer want the quotation so company will give the quotation customer will not give quotation customer receive company will give the quotation so customer want some product information so company will give the quotation so quotation preparations of tenders and quotations next is what efficiency we have to check what we have to check efficiency labors are efficiently working or not departments are efficiently working or not reason is what because of efficiency productivity will be depends if workers are not working efficiently production will be affected or not so productivity depends on what efficiency so efficiency is very important area of your cost accounting so here efficiency is also given okay measurement of efficiency example where this will be used suppose in your factory four workers are working small factory is there x y z three workers suppose so suppose if you give same wages to all workers 
then the worker who is working efficiently that worker will become also inefficient correct or wrong in ipl on what basis payment will be given to player performance so efficiency if player is performing well he will be getting highest bid so there is nothing but what efficiency na so in organizations labor will also efficiency required efficiency means one standard will be given to him you have to produce the units in this much of time if worker is completing on that time he is working efficiently so this is called as performance measurement this is called as what performance measurement so this will enhance the ability of worker unskilled worker want to become skilled skilled worker want to become more skilled okay if same payment is given to all means everybody will become lazy okay this why performance measurement is required next is inventory in accounting always accountant will focus on what recording process only only his job is what financial accountant job is what income expense income expense asset liability khata how to control the cost how to avoid the wastages how to improvise efficiency financial accountant ko koi matlab nahi hai financial accountant will not have any interest in this inventory wasted not wasted uno likh deta sirf inventory wasted finish suppose organization purchase 1 lakh rupees inventory 20000 inventory wasted financial accountant will write 1 lakh purchase 20 wasted khatam but cost accountant will suggest how to minimize the inventory wastages material wastages how to improvise the efficiency clear this is the role of cost accountant clear in simple words i am not degrading any profession i am not upgrading any profession financial accountant job is what to make financial statement and prepare the balance sheet according to the convenience of management if management want more balance sheet will profit and loss will more if management want less it will be less according to management financial accountant will work but cost accountant will suggest how to do the business which is profitable activity which is non profitable activity why inventory material uh, wastage is taking place why productivity not increasing why price increment decrease required all these areas management accountant will work so your role is very bigger than financial accountant but market mein kya hota malum hai ca cm mein se comparison kare to ca wale ko zyada preference dete log main dono hi kiya hu but preference grading mein ca ko zyada milta hai but andar ke kaam mein cm ka kaam zyada hai internally cm work is more okay so ca is like doctor cm is like scientist in simple words doctor ka kaam kya hai ilaaj karna scientist ka kaam kya hai wo ilaaj ki dawa banana wo ilaaj ka dawa banana scientist work is what to prepare the medicine for that disease doctor work is what to prescribe that medicine only but professionally who is more famous doctor scientist famous rehta hai doctors are famous but doctor is prescribing whose medicine scientist medicine so popularity wise don't compare <laughs> popularity wise don't compare internally you should check na bhai financial accounting mein sab nahi hai financial accountant will not have any decision making sense only recording recording presenting preparing they will not involved in this this but nowadays to do a business is challenge or not regular so many challenges are there amazon fighting fighting with flipkart flipkart fighting with amazon big basket already entered it jio mart already entered so decision making strategy all this required so this will be management accountant job clear 
मैनेजमेंट अकाउंटेंट विल स्टार्ट दी स्ट्रेटेजिस कि हाउ टू डू दी बिजनेस सीए का काम सिर्फ क्या है खाता बही सही करना ओके सो दे यूर रोल इज वेरी अग्रेसिव रोल योर रोल इज वेरी डेप्थ रोल एज कंपेयर टू फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटेंट ओके बट पॉपुलरिटी वाइज दे आर फेमस ऑलरेडी गिवेन द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ डॉक्टर साइंटिस्ट टू ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस ओके दैट्स वाई मोर एरियाज आर कवर्ड हियर सो फर्स्ट पॉइंट अंडरस्टैंड आ दिस इज ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड सी हेल्प्स इन फिक्सिंग द सेलिंग प्राइस वाई दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट बोलो सेलिंग प्राइस फिक्सिंग इज वाई दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इन मोनोपोलिस्टिक मार्केट यू कैन फिक्स एनी सेलिंग प्राइस बट इन परफेक्ट कॉम्पिटिशन इफ योर सेलिंग प्राइस इज नॉट करेक्ट यूल बी थ्रोट फ्रॉम मार्केट यूल बी थ्रोट फ्रॉम मार्केट क्लियर तो सेलिंग प्राइस इज ऑलवेज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट so selling price will be correct only when your cost is correct If your cost is not correct selling price also wrong that's why this is very important area if selling price is high customer prefer other product if selling price is less company will suffer so it should be on prompt basis so financial accountant ko kuch matlab hi nahi hai se only will record sale But who is fixing this management accountant? Who will fix this management accountant? Because selling price not correct means other competitors will dominate. Why China is dominating? Simple example, boy. Why China is dominating entire world? Bolo mere ko ap. Hmm? Price price war. Chinese product price less. Why? Quality bhi acha hai to bhi price kam hi rehta uska. means they have developed the manufacturing techniques in such a way the government supporting in such a way ki their prices as compared to others cheap rehta hai cheap product cheap price good product their prices also good but as compared to others their prices are comparatively lower reason is what in chinese manufacturing export direct government is involved here our government is not involved businessmen are involved so china produce the goods in volume and they have advanced technology this is the reason ki selling price will be less so when selling price less first indian people prefer that only not only indian people bhai rest of the world also because whatever we earn we spend lavishly or insensible way or sensible way only okay so lavishly if you spend savings will be zero that's why selling price plays an important role selling price will play always an important role tender quotation already you understand okay this is required when one customer want the quotation cost control also i explained managerial decision making managerial decision making means in different different uh, uh, situation different decisions we have to take like recently Mukesh Ambani has taken the decision to demerge a company. ITC, ITC also decided to demerge hotels. It means uh, tobacco business separate, hotel business separate. So this decisions will be taken by manager level people from costing data also. Okay, so decision making. बोलते हैं उसे clear. So in marginal costing, I will explain this. Don't worry. next is inventory control this point will come in material chapter this point will come in direct material chapter inventory control is also very important inventory control means wastages also we have to control cost also we have to control wastages also we have to control cost also we have to control how cost will be control how wastages will be control we discuss in direct material chapter because we have separate chapter on that next is efficiency this is understand in labor 
कॉस्ट रिडक्शन ऑलरेडी गिवेन एग्जाम्पल प्रॉफिटेबल एक्टिविटीज नॉन प्रॉफिटेबल एक्टिविटीज दिस इज ऑल्सो एक्सप्लेन नॉ आइडेंटिफाइंग द मेटेरियल लॉसेस सो इफ एनी पॉसिबिलिटी इज देयर दिस विल बी रिड्यूस्ड आइडेंटिफाइंग द आइडल टाइम आइडल टाइम मीन्स टाइम वेस्टेड लेबर टर्न ओवर लेबर टर्न ओवर मीन्स सपोज सम एम्प्लॉज रिमूव फ्रॉम द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और द लीव द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इमीडिएट रिप्लेसमेंट रिक्वायर्ड इमीडिएट इफ यू डो नॉट रिप्लेस प्रोडक्टिविटी विल रिक्लीज प्रोडक्टिविटी विल डिक्रीज बोलते लेबर टर्न ओवर तो बिकॉज ऑफ लेबर टर्न ओवर प्रोडक्टिविटी डिक्रीज इन लास्ट एग्जाम पेपर ओल्ड सिलेबस ही टेस्टेड वन क्वेश्चन ड्यू टू विच रीजन प्रोडक्टिविटी डिक्रीज लेबर टर्न ओवर ऑप्शन में दिया था वो लेबर टर्न ओवर दिस इज द रीजन की इंट्रोडक्शन इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट प्राक्टिकल अद्दे मेरी का प्राक्टिकल स्टार्ट से क्वेश्चन के थ्री थ्री मेथड्स में चुपता नहीं बिकॉज ई डन सीमा कोर्स आलो सो इध कास्टिंग इंटरमीडियट कास्टिंग उलैवंत स्टाडर्ड ला ओके क्लियर सो डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट थ्यूरी इज इंपारटे इन थ्यूरी स्टूडेंट विल वीक लाइक मेरे आलरे वीक चूँगी आंसर चपेन रो इपड़े फैनाशियल अकौंटिंग आंसर अग्री और नाट प्राक्टिकल एवरीबडी विल पर्फेक्ट बट थ्यूरी So theory is important. Theory also should be strong. Because 25 marks paper, last attempt paper, 25 marks. If you see new syllabus, only three question practically tested. 22 theory. Out of 25, only three. Some theory. Student paper is download just go on the website. Don't you? Three practical remaining theory. So theory raw kate. Then we mark will go in at the marika. थ्यूरी इंपारटेंट और नॉट नेक्स्ट इज इट इज आलो हेल्प इन ईडेंटिफाइंग दि इंप्रूवेंट इन प्रोडक्टिविटी मीन इन विच प्रोडक्ट इंप्रूवेंट इज रिक्वायर्ड इन विच प्रोडक्ट इंप्रूवेंट नॉट रिक्वायर्ड ओके इट मीन कंपनी मैनुफैक्चर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स इन सम प्रोडक्ट्स इंप्रूवेंट रिक्वायर्ड इन सम प्रोडक्ट्स इंप्रूवेंट नॉट रिक्वायर्ड क्लियर लाइक सैमसंग and apple regularly release the models so samsung earlier version m33 their price range is 25000 when they release m33 5g model but they release m34 5g also but price is 19000 only why because m33 5g model not very much sold because of price issue so in compare in compare to other that is not a very profitable product that is not a very profitable product so they have made some changes and they reduce now m34 sale is increasing because of price so this is the reason ki product wise improvement required or not that is also important so they changed the design also they change the specification also they change the handset model color everything and they decrease the price also so when they decrease the price maybe some features they have reduced also but that features not affect the quality of the product so this is very important otherwise you cannot sustain in market last and final is cost comparison our product with other company product comparison required or not and last government society also cost accounting important why if your costing is good product pricing will be reasonable customer will be happy government will also in advantage clear so this is all about your cost accounting cost accountancy objectives advantages clear so in next class we'll discuss about cost classification cost classification and limitations cost classification is cost accounting standard number 1 so don't miss because standards are important from exam point of view okay any student who miss cost classification chapter one ke sagam costing artham kaadu mari munde already advance la cheptunnanu endukante andulo 
फिक्स कॉस्ट वेरिएबल कॉस्ट सेमी वेरिएबल डायरेक्ट इनडायरेक्ट ईच एंड एवरी टाइप ऑफ कॉस्ट टर्मिनोलॉजी वी विल अंडरस्टैंड सो वॉट एवर वी लर्न इन फ्यूचर ना ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ टर्मिनोलॉजी विल कवर्ड इन कॉस्ट अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड वन सो दट इज वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यूर प्रैक्टिकल चैप्टर्स ओके द नेक्स्ट क्लास वी विल स्टार्ट दैट See in our classes, we manage theory also with same importance, practical also with same importance. We do not consider theory as a negligible area because your paper, C Institute also changed the paper pattern. Hope you are going to learn some new things. Because previously in C exam, students are practicing practical sums only. They are not focusing on theory. In new syllabus, we are going to have 30 marks theory weight this year. Because if theory knowledge is not good, subject knowledge is limited. okay so we'll stop this session here